Apple have just released iOS 16 for the iPhone, but in this video, I'm going to let you know why you shouldn't update yet. Here's the problem. iOS has been updated to version 16. However, the iPad OS version is still at 15.7. This is because some of the new features in iPad OS 16 are just not quite ready. So they'll be released at this stage in October. Why is this a problem? Well, for creative folks, especially if you're using both an iPhone and an iPad, you don't really want one to be on one version of software and one to be on another. Let's take a look at GarageBand as an example. If we scroll down and take a look at the version history, we are on version two. 2.3.13, but that's only compatible with iOS 16. So if you've got an iPad running iOS 15.7, you'll have version 2.3.12. Now running two different versions, if you want that cross compatibility is not a great idea, which is why my recommendation right now for creative folks, especially is to keep both your devices on iOS 15.7. Of course, if you are just using an iPhone and you don't have an iPad, there's really no problem. You can go ahead and update to version 16.7. Zero. However, my advice is usually just to give it a week or two because we tend to see that there's an updated version that comes out pretty soon, a 0.01 or something like that, that might have a few bug fixes. So if you're like me, maybe let other folks be the guinea pigs and then just wait until that next version and then go ahead and update. Another thing to consider is sometimes when you update your iOS or iPad OS version, apps that were working suddenly don't work so well or at all. And that's because the developers have perhaps not updated them completely to be compatible with iOS 16. So again, deploying a little bit of patience can sometimes save you a heck of a lot of frustration if some of your other apps simply stop working. And finally, now that I've encouraged you to not update to iOS 16, I want to tell you to make sure to update to iOS 15.7 and iPad OS 15.7. That's because these are significant security updates. Yes, there are some issues with iOS 15.6. So do go ahead and update both your devices, any of your iPhones or iPads to iOS 15.7 and make sure you're safe. Oh, and one more thing. If you want the cool customizable lock screen, the widgets and the ability to pull back that drunken text message you sent at 2 a.m., then go ahead and update. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. iOS 16 does look pretty cool, but I know that there's some folks who, like me, crave stability over the new shininess. So if that's you, you may want to stick to 15.7. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to use your iPhone and your iPad to create music, video, and a whole bunch more, check out all the links down in the description, and I'll see you next time.